Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about how to add CSS in HTML. We saw three different ways of writing CSS or rather including CSS in HTML pages. Today we are going to learn about links. Very very important as I don't think there is any website which will be there without any links either internal or external. So links are extremely important if you are learning HTML and hence this particular episode. Let's go ahead learn everything about link. Alright if you haven't checked out the previous parts I'll request you to kindly do so. You will have continuity in learning as well as it will help you master HTML. This is episode number 13 and today we are learning about links. So what are links in HTML? Links allows us that is users to click and navigate to other pages or URLs. We write links using the anchor tag or anchor element which is written as a tag. A is for anchor. It takes attributes like href, target or image as a link. Okay, So you can add different flavors of link and you can define the style etc. Let's do some hands-ons to learn. If you remember and following this particular uh, series you will know that in the last episode we created one home.html and we added a link like this but it, it did not work like a link let me show you that in demo all right so if you see this is a link but it's not it's just a text for HTML so to write link we now know that we have to write a href then the URL or the path where you want it to go and close the anchor tag and save it. It will not show you anything. Why? Any idea? That's right. You guessed it right because we have to write something between the A tag to link it. So I'm going to say Arc Tutorials and now you will see that the link has come as by default it is blue color underlined. That's how you create links and if you want it to go then you don't have to give this this is relative path so I'm going to write the entire path and I'm saying go to arctutorials.com refresh the page and you click and it goes to arctutorials.com that's our website also check it out you have a lot of testing concepts interview questions tutorials on HTML CSS JavaScript I'm going to add more alright so now we know how to write the link let's go ahead and remove this one italics so that okay so we have link here okay so now let's go ahead and style it I'm going to style it in three different ways that I learned that I showed you in last episode here we are saying the font size should be 20 pixel right and color should be say red so now see it has become poor it has become red color or give some other color whatever your favorite color it becomes that particular thing now I'm going to use internal style and I'm going to style it here and I'm saying wherever you find an anchor tag in this particular page remove the underline so I'm using text decoration none that means don't add a underline so now see it has removed the underline if you want the underline put text decoration underline right so that's how you can add links in the page you can add any number of links in the page and say go to Google here you'll write www.google.com save it now when you click on it it will not go to Google because we have given relative path now this is absolute so you click on it it will go to Google alright so that's how you can create any number of links in the pages you can give attributes like style href right and you can also mention whether to open it in a new window or in the same one using target now here you'll say underscore blank underscore blank means open it in a new window okay now refresh and click on this link it opens in a new tab right because we said open it in a new one if you don't mention target it will always open it in the same page see here 
it did not open it is in the same page it is opening but if you give target it would open in a new window so you see it opened a new window All right so that's how you can implement links in the web pages I hope it's clear I hope now you will be able to comfortably write links in your web page change the color using inline style or add an internal style here or you can also define global styles inside the CSS file that we have written earlier I hope this topic is clear if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you in the next episode we will learn about images in HTML how to include images in our HTML pages to make it more attractive and beautiful join me in the next episode I hope you are enjoying this series and learning from this series if you are enjoying this series please do leave a comment to keep encouraging me thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode